Well, today is the day we begin construction. We got the lumber here. Today we build the subfloor and we're also gonna be put on the deck. What we've done this morning so far was we have put on the base plates and then after that, we put on the rim joists. We also built the center beam that's gonna be the center support for the cabin. And then we also went through and marked every 16 inches where the floor joists are gonna be placed. And now we're getting ready to put the floor joist in. But first we have to go back up the hill where the lumber company dropped everything off at, get as much as we can in the back of Jerry's truck and then bring it all back down here. Look at there. We got ourselves a dancing floor. Sub floor is down. Jerry's finishing up getting the nails down. And next we're gonna put on the deck. Now in case you're wondering why we're putting on the deck now, is because we've got a little bit of a drop off here and there. So by putting the deck on, it's gonna give us more workable space. We can step onto the deck whenever we need to, you know, just to get things done on the, on the floor. Where's the other ones? They're coming, kind of, they're stuck in the back. Oh. Now look, there's a Here's floor. Some wet. Thank you. Hey, what do you guys think? So cool. What's that? It's a house. It's your house? Like is this where you're going to sleep? Yeah. Like you're going to sleep under here? Yeah. I can put a few beds under here if you guys will sleep under here. Yeah, I can like, put, like, come on. Let's go. Where's your shoes? Yeah, I took them off. What you bring us to eat? Boy, you spoiled us today. Yeah. Carrots. Yeah. Girl Scout cookies. Well, thank you, baby. You're welcome. There's some things. What are you going to do down here? I don't know. Do you have any ideas you think would look good? No, I just, you know, whatever. I mean, no. it don't matter to me. I know, but you've you know done what it. you're going to look out. You know, I'd open up the quite a bit of glass on this end, but now there's a kitchen right here, right? Kitchen's right here, run that way. Okay. Oh, you want a window right there? I say at least two windows. So do you think we could fit more than two windows and a door on the bottom up here? What kind of window? Well, I don't know. You want to try to match them up above? You got a door. Is the door going right in the middle? Yeah. yeah. Right in the very middle. Yep. I'm just trying to match the pattern that's above. Three six-foot windows and one three-foot door down. I want as much glass on this side of the house as I can possibly fit. Wait just a second. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Oh! Yeah, do it again. <laughs> what do you think of that? It's loud. Is it loud? I'm gonna get these started for you if that's alright. Sure. I like building stuff. I can tell my friends that I built this house. And yep, you sure can. That feels good. Yep, feels good whenever you can do stuff. Good.
right there? Oh yeah, mommy wants to look down here. I'm gonna pick out. Okay, so we're done. Well, we're not done done, but hanging those joist hangers, that's probably been the one thing I have not really enjoyed in this whole process so far. Yeah, me too. Was it pretty hard work? Yeah. There's 10 nails per joist, and I don't know how many we've put up so far, maybe 30, and I've probably got 10 more to go. So it's, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. Well, I will say it is very difficult to film and work on your house at the exact same time. That's why I'm really liking doing the time lapse. I hope you guys are enjoying the time lapse. So what I'm gonna be trying to do as the time lapse is happening, telling you what we're doing. Uh, we just put on the deck, but now I'm going through and screwing everything down. But I wanna just kinda tell you guys some of the little tips that Jerry had told me, my carpenter, as we're putting this deck down. One of those, let me hop down, one of those was he was talking about making sure you put the bark side up. So you see how the grooves run this way? That means that's the like the outside part of the tree and you want that side to be up. Typically what that's gonna mean is that this board is gonna be a little bit raised, kinda like a crown. And whenever we were laying the boards for this as well, you want the crown side up because you don't want the bowed side because the crown has a little bit of hump. You don't want the like the, the bucket or the basket or u-shaped or whatever you don't want that because that will tend to sag and collect water so you want the crown side up on the board when you're laying those it's just a great little thing i didn't know i'm sure so many people do i'm a novice at construction i don't know a lot about it which is what i love about having somebody who's done this his whole life and him teaching me things as we're going along another thing that you've seen us doing was putting multiple boards down at once and then squeezing those boards together with another board or pry bar or something, squeezing those boards together to get them tight because these are green, they will shrink over time so you'll wanna get them tight. And then you go through and nail them instead of doing each board individually, which is probably what I would have thought to do, because again, I'm a novice. Before we go through and screw them, we've gotta hammer each one of them up against the flashing that you put up along there. That's just waterproofing is all that is. Uh, the other reason why we are doing the deck now and not later is because look at all of the workspace this gives us once we start framing the house. So it's just nice to have this deck area so we can put stuff. We can also move around because from where the platform is, where the subfloor is, down to ground level in certain areas can be vary between two to say four and a half feet. So you don't wanna fall off that versus having this deck on here. It just makes it way nicer for us to be able to work once we start framing the structure. So our deck size, eight foot wide, across the front of the house is 20 feet. I'm loving the size. I was considering having the deck go out farther almost like down to the water, but I'm not sure I want to do that now. I mean, it's pretty high, so it'll have to drop down. But what I'm thinking of doing is just having some steps come off the deck, having like a little rock path trail, maybe have a little setting area there. Lane and I are wanting to put a hammock between those two trees to really enjoy. And so I think I'm going to be satisfied with the size that we have now and not add any on. But we'll see, only time will tell as we go further along. But I, this is what I'm thinking so far.
I need these type of things. This is this is what I enjoy. This is one thing I miss about being on the road is just the physical labor. I don't really get that while we're on the road. So having this little break, us building the tiny house, has been good for me because I, I really enjoy this type of work. Sometimes I don't want to say anything. I just want to listen. We're gonna love this place.